Hi everyone, back to talking with your tween, without a tween. Um, just me and mom here. Um, Jack, mom, already said her name. Um, and this is part two of the Valentine's Day crafts. The kids were really excited. They said, mom, can we make some videos of crafts? You got it. So this time I was actually invited to be in it. So that was really nice, but I think that's only because Emma peaced out on us, so. Yeah. I guess second fiddle's still okay. Sometimes better than no fiddle at all, right? I don't actually even know what that saying means. So if I used it wrong, I apologize. Do you even know what fiddle means? I well, fiddle's like not a violin. Very clear here. It is not a violin, yes. but similar in the okay. sense of how you... Okay, we're good. Okay, all right. Okay. Just... Seems good. Um, so what craft are we making? So we are making a dinosaur holding a heart, which I don't know where the... I think Emma might have cleaned that up. He's going to get the heart that we also used in the last video um, as a stencil. If you didn't watch it, check it out. Uh, but we are using cookie cutters as stencils because, you know, I don't have a whole ton of stencils in my house, but we do have cookie cutters. It's probably in the sink because luckily Emma didn't just use it with pencils and stuff and then toss it into the drawer again to be used. Um, yeah, it's kind of soaking wet sitting in the sink, but Jack's going to make do here. Why don't you just get a paper towel? Call it a day. I mean, what's the worst that can come of a dirty stencil? Uh, maybe a lot. Yeah, maybe. I think we'll be okay. So Jack decided to pick out some stencils. Dinosaur, he's a fan. And heart because of Valentine's Day. You got that one there? Yep. Super. What are you going to do? We're a little too real here for worrying about it. Uh, so ooh, that's what? all. Um, and then you need some paper. Mm -hmm. Dinosaur. What heart? What heart. And something to trace with. So a yep. pencil. Preferably. Pencil. All right. Maybe you can use this if you want. Get a Sharpie. You might like Sharpie. And marker. Anything. Marker, yep. And then um, you also might want to have crayons, colored pencils. Anything you want. Anything you like with. to color with nearby too. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, step one. Take your stencils and your paper and... <laughs> I don't know. Trace them. Know. Great transition, buddy. Okay. And it's probably really light, so we'll put it there. This is what Jack decided, that he wanted the dinosaur holding the heart. So holding the heart. Really up to you. Get a different animal if you don't like dinosaurs, or maybe get a flower if you don't like hearts. Your choice. After you have traced them so nicely on your paper, you get to have some fun and decide how you want to color, color. it. So what I use to mark it all out is Sharpie. Um, black around everything. Um, then I used some red on the heart, pink on the heart too, two um, green for the dino, yellow for its stomach, blue and orange for the dots and its spikes. Mm -hmm. And then, so then that's really all I did. Then instead of happy Valentine's Day, which this probably cracks me up all the time if I read it, have Dino Valentine's Day. Ba -dum -bum. Here, I'll show you it. He came up with that one all on his own. Dino Valentine's Day. Right, I dig it. So then the next part that we haven't done yet, but we wanted to, what did you want to do now that you've got this on paper? Cut the dino out, make it a square, actually like cut the whole thing. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot about, I missed a spot. Oh, I was wondering about that one little white top, but I thought it was kind of cool, like a birthmark. See that one down there? Jack says, no birthmarks. I missed a spot. Birthmarks are not allowed in this Now, case. to keep this um, mom approved here, I did make sure that Jack had multiple pieces of paper underneath his drawing when he was using the Sharpie because, as you can see here, it goes right through the paper. Mm. So, put something protective on your counters or underneath um, your paper on your desk. If you have a clipboard, you can even do it right on your clipboard, folks, and that way uh, there's no worry about getting the behind on your counters making someone upset oh you're gonna do this he's also eating lunch right now he's playing like double triple duty with all the things he's doing so currently so we don't we're not to... gonna like cut the whole thing out like triangle <gasps> yeah we're not gonna get real detailed with our cutting we're just gonna have a rough outline so that way we can use it to stick on something else dun, dun, dun. do you want me to get the glue stick by the way sure okay 
BRB. She'll be right back in this scene. Two hours later. And anything that you see in our videos, um, we are not being paid or anything else to talk about them or how much we like them or maybe even dislike them. Um, so if by accident you see what kind of glue that I'm using, um, it's not that we are paid in any way, shape, or form. It's just what we have in our house. Ta-da, I got it. So it's a little dang now in the heart. Cut out. Now, what you're also going to need is another clean piece of paper. And what we did with ours is we folded it in half. I think people call this uh, the hamburger way. Um, so that way we can make a card. So that's what Jack decided to do was make a Valentine's Day card. So with your lovely cutout and your hamburger bun, we are going to literally paste our dino into the bottom here, okay? Now, we did talk about, and we've gone back and forth here. If you plan to use marker or anything that bleeds through on the front of your card, which I think Jack does, you have two options. Create the card before you stick your dinosaur in, so that way you don't ruin it, or you can do the paper trick again. Put lots of pieces of paper between the front cover and your dinosaur, which will go in the back. So that way, as you're doing your marker, it doesn't bleed through on that beautiful picture. So Jack was just gluing. If you want glue all over this too, buddy, and it will just make it that much better to stick down. All the sides. Right, remember, I have to dry. Right, yep, yep. All right. It dries pretty quick, this glue, so I think we'll be good. If we just do a nice basic outline here to get it in. Still and eating lunch. Still eating lunch. Lunch of champions here some uh, cheese crackers and a bagel and cream cheese. They're Cheez-Its. Which we are not paid to say, just for the record. <laughs> I don't even know how this works. So I say that every time, just in case. All right, <clears throat> so right now it's still a little so sticky. We're going to write the name for you. We're going to, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh. Ta-da, so wow. here's how we're doing it. We're leaving it wide open. Here's where the dinosaur is right back here. We're leaving this wide open while he decorates the front. So it bleeds through on these extra pieces of paper and not well, we get it. onto the dino. Get it. We get it. So I'll just. Now Jack came up with something clever to write on the front. So depending, don't say it yet, though. I'm not, We're going to do it at the very end. So depending on what kind of animal you choose, the Valentine Day was very good for our dinosaur because he has that spiky Hap spine. Dino. Hap Dino also made a lot of sense for our dino. But if you have something else, like a dog or a cat, you could come up with some other creative saying, right? I'm only in third grade, so I don't, I don't know how to spell that. Everything. Well. Doesn't know how to spell everything. So I'll write it off to mm. the side here so you can see. There we go. He's going to surprise you with his very creative thinking um, on the front of this card. And we were talking. I said, well, who's this card going to? And he said. My teacher. His teacher. He wants to show some appreciation and love to his teacher. So shout out here to all of the teachers not only, you know, in our neck of the woods, but across uh, the U.S. and across the globe, really, because teaching during the pandemic seems like kind of a hot mess. But for some crazy reason, way, whatever, the super capes that uh, teachers are wearing right now are really awesome. And they're finding a way to make it work. So thank you to our teachers. And I love that his idea was to give this to his. I don't know how we're going to get it to school, but we're going to figure that out later. So without further ado, Jack says my card here it is. No. Oh, just oh, yeah. kidding. So of course, oh. we need the dino. Of course, dinos, always. But before we read the whole thing, if you are a champion, this will be for you. Here we go. So this is what his outside of the card says. If you are a champion, because dinosaurs like to jump, 
this will be for you. So that's what his teacher will read before she opens it up and sees the inside product. Hapdino Valenspine Day. So thank you, Jack. Walked away. What are you doing next, buddy? <clears throat> okay. Uh, is there anything else you want to say before we hang up? I, I, it's getting distracted by drawers in our house right now. Who knew? I don't like drawers. They're evil. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to say? Happy Dino Valenspine's Day. To all. Good luck. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, share, show the world that you care. Happy Valentine's Day.